Hey guys, welcome to another Python tutorial for beginners. So today's video is the second half of the unit conversion program. In our last video, we've talked about some of the bad strategies that we could take so that we could know what and how not to implement things. So in today's video, we'll take the standard unit mapper approach and using the cross multiplication to implement our program. So let's get into this. So before we start, if you haven't had a chance to watch the first half of the video, please click the top right corner to get the complete picture of what we are doing here. So let's recap what we have here real quick. So I put the two bad strategies up at the top and commented out so that we can reference it and compare at later points. And also we have the user input functions here to get the user input from the end users. And down below, we have the convert unit functions that gets the user input and we have a few if statements from the last video. So let's get started with using the standard unit mapper that we have set above here to perform the unit conversion. So as you see in the screen right now, we have used the cross multiplication to calculate a value from one unit to another. So now what we have to do here is to translate this cross multiplication into our code. So if we assume that from unit is the meter and two unit is the kilometer and the number is two, then we can create an equation something like this. So let me go to the kilometer block and write this equation here. So let me first uh, delete this pass and we can say standard unit mapper and pass the two unit as the key times number divide by standard unit mapper and then square bracket and pass the from unit as a key and let me apply the line break here and then we can also wrap this equation into the print statement so that we can actually see the result here so uh, let's walk through this equation real quick so i'm multiplying the value for two unit coming from mapper to a number because we are doing the cross multiplication here. So we are multiplying the left side denominator 0.001 to the right side numerator, which is two. Then we are also multiplying the left side numerator, which is one to the right side denominator, which is X. And in order for us to get the X, we are just dividing one by 0.002, which is this part right here. So then let's just run this and set the from unit as the kilometer and test things out. So if I run this and pass one, and then enter a number so I can say 4.2 and then from unit is a kilometer and I want to convert to a centimeter then you can actually see that 4.2 kilometer was successfully converted to 420,000 centimeter so this works properly so this proves that the equation that we have set here is correct and then the cross multiplication is working properly okay so then now let me just copy and paste this equation for all the if blocks that we have here for now so let me just close this for now and then copy this print statement to here, here, and here as well. And let's try to run this once again. So if I run it, and then unit conversion, and say 60.2, and then I can say meter to a centimeter, then you can see that 60.2 uh, meter is converted to a uh, 6,020 centimeter. And let's try once again. So one, enter number, 600, uh, and then, from unit is a millimeter and then I can convert that to a centimeter then you can see that uh, 600 millimeter is converted to a 60 centimeter so everything seems to work correctly then now let's try to remove some of the redundancies that we have here so first thing first let's talk about these four blocks of if and else if statement so initially we've had to have this if statement because we are not using the standard unit mapper and we are manually checking what is the from unit coming from the end user and based on the from unit we are getting the corresponding value for the two unit either using the dictionary mapper or writing another nested if blocks for the two units but now if you look at this equation every variable that we have here which are unit number and from unit doesn't really care about which from unit or two unit that we got from the user because all we are doing here is to get the values for from unit using the from unit as a key and get the values for the two unit using the two unit as the key and we are just performing the calculations to get the converted values so this means that we can completely remove this if and else if blocks and just put this one print statement here so let me just do that real quick here so let me just copy and paste this one print statement and then we can completely remove this entire if and else if and then paste the, the one print statement that we have here and let's test it once again so if i select one and then 60.2 kilometer 
to a meter, then you will see that 60.2 kilometer was converted to 60,200 meter. And because we don't have this if and else block anymore, this means that we can use all other units that we have set in this uh, standard unit mapper. So let me try to convert one feet to inches. So I can just go back here and then type one, and then one from unit is a feet, and then I want to convert it to inches. Then you will see that one feet is equal to 11.999, meaning basically same thing as 12. So one feet equals 12 inches. And let me try once again. One, and then I want to convert the two and meter to uh, inches. Then you can see that two meter is equal to 78.7 .7 inches. Okay, so now everything seems like it's working correctly. Let's try to make this uh, result output be more prettier. So I can go down here and then copy the entire content that I have in, inside the pin statement and let me set a separate variable here so I can say converted value and then paste it here and then I'm going to use a string formatting here and set a reserve string and maybe the number and from unit is the converted value and to unit and then I'm going to use a string formatting and then pass the value here so number from unit and then converted value and lastly I want to pass the two unit so if I just run this one more time to test but before that let me just add the result into the print statement and let me run it and go to a unit conversion and turn number so two meter and inch and you can see that 2.0 meter is a 78.74 .74 inches. So you can see a lot more prettier format here. And let me also try to put some check here where if user wants to convert a unit that is not allowed in our program, then we want to actually throw a different print message. So for that uh, in here, in the line 82, I'm gonna have a condition here. So if from unit in standard unit mapper or to unit in standard unit matter and in here i want to actually use the opposite meaning i want to use not here so let me just uh, enclose everything in a parenthesis like that and then i can put a not in the front so if any of the condition returns first then it's going to go inside this if block and let me also try to apply some line break here and in this case i want to actually say that print uh, we only allow following units and then string formatting here as well and then format and since we have the standard unit mapper with all the keys we can just do standard unit mapper dot keys so in the dictionary class i'm just calling the keys method to get the collection of keys in this dictionary which is the standard unit mapper so if i try to run this one more time but before that let me also put the else block here so else then you want to actually convert so i want to put the entire block below the else and if I run this once again and select one here and then enter number 4.2 and in the from unit if I put AA which doesn't exist and to unit same thing AA then you will actually see the print message saying that we only allow following units with a um, dict keys and then it shows all the keys that we have in the standard unit mapper and we don't want this to show up this is just a dict keys view class so instead of this we just want all the units are separated by the comma separate like this so for that let's use a string join method because that method allows us to actually uh, parse all the iterables and then make it as a comma separated so for that let me first apply the line break here and then what we can do here is that we can actually create a string with the two quotations like this and then call the string method class join and then uh, have the open parenthesis and close parenthesis at the end and we can specify the delimiter like this comma and a space so if I run this once again and go to unit conversion enter a number and put a double A here double A as well then you will now see a new print message saying that we only allow following units with a lot more prettier format with all the units comma separated. Okay, I think that we are pretty much done with this program. If you want to add a new unit to this program, all you have to do is to specify a new unit and convert value into the standard unit mapper that we have here above, right here. So once you add a new element into the standard unit mapper, then everything should work properly. And I know that we are missing some error handling when getting the user input, so for example, if a user enters some incorrect value, so in this case, the program is asking to choose an option from the menu, and this only takes an integer as you see here. But if I put a string here, 
then it's gonna break uh, with a value error because this user input is expecting an integer but we entered a string here and I've intentionally did not include this type of error handling in this video because we'll be getting into try and accept block as well as start getting into error handling in general in the next couple of videos so please stay tuned for those and if you found these videos helpful please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos thanks for watching and hope to see you in next videos